Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and a very warm welcome back to Farlands or Bust, Season 6. Season 6 of Farlands or Bust begins today, Saturday, August 8th, 2015, and here we are, broadcasting from the Deluxe uh main main uh main attraction the main view the the hidey hole with a view the hidey hole with a with a sunroof from the last episode when we built the monument for the last season season five uh strangely enough season five ended on june 8th so exactly two months later we are back at it this was totally exactly what i had planned from the beginning hello spoiler Nice to meet you. Ready to start Season 6? I know I am. But yes, indeed. At the end of Season 5, we built the monument at 2,266,779 blocks from spawn. The last F3 number that we pressed at, obviously, the end of the last Flabathon. I know, it's exciting, Mr. Spider. And atop, atop, along with the sign denoting it such, there is the chest currently being overtaken by a cloud, but there's the chest that contains the diamond sword of spawn pointiness. Only a few... Excuse me, sir. Only a few hits of uh, durability left on it. I figured after four and a half years of service, instead of letting it break in an ill-advised fashion, like chopping down some leaves so that I could walk through them or something silly like that, uh, I decided, it, ooh, thank you, I, it would be best to, to let it remain forever for as long as far lands or bust shall be. It shall remain here, like I said, at 2266779, 18.06% of the way to the far lands. But yeah, we built this, uh, this monument. Uh, we have a spoiler guardian. I don't know where that guy came from. He's just there right now. And this cool little spiral situation downstairs to the deluxe hidey hole that I built for such the occasion. And today we are going to get ready to continue walking to the Far Lands in episode 491 of the series. Episode 491. Hey oh, there's some stuff we should probably bring with, don't you think? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get arranged here. We've got the Golden Clock of Destiny, which we built in episode 50. The Nether Rack that we got from our ill-advised trip to the Nether in episode 200. The Golden Apple uh, Episode, the Golden Apple Sode, the Golden Apple, excuse me, of episode 311 that we found in a chest in a dungeon. I do not need all of this cobblestone, so we're going to put that all up and away. Don't need to bring that with. Um, don't need to bring that with. I'll bring some wool and the shears. I don't need a chest either. Where did I get that extra chest? I think I accidentally made too many chests when I uh, when I had uh, was building the chest for the uh, the monument. Do we have anything anything cooking? Do we have... we have already got a crafting table. This crafting table is going to stay behind. Uh, we've got a pick. I don't have a pickaxe. I'm sorry, a... Uh, oh, let me... let me... I'm so behind! See, it's literally... I've done absolutely nothing since the last episode. <laughs> so, that's... that's... let that be a lesson to you. Don't be prepared for anything, kids! Alright, there we go. We've got our shovel, our axe, our pickaxe. Uh, running low on iron. We did... Oh, we didn't. Oh, we did! That's what we're gonna do! Wait, no, I wanna wait for episode 500. We're gonna go barefoot. We're gonna go barefoot for 10 episodes, and then on episode 500, I will craft some diamond shoes, diamond boots of episode 500-ness, they will be known as, and perhaps they will last as long and provide as much long-term service as the diamond sword of spawn pointing is, but we'll wait for episode 500. A nice, a nice round number to start those off in, but otherwise, I think we have all that we require to continue on to the Far Lands. Uh, I'm full up on health, just missing some shoes, got all that business. Come on, Wolfie, let's do the thing where we continue on. Uh, I'm gonna shut the door, actually, since you can't walk through doors anyway. <laughs> and you will spawn when I get up here, I think. Yep, there he is. All right, whoops, picked up some bones. Uh, before we go, though, 
One of the things I forgot to do at the end of the last episode, at the end of Season 5, uh, was take some pictures. Always gotta get some pictures. Always gotta get some pictures. So let's take some panoramics. Ooh, this is gonna be tough to fit into a... Tough to fit into the frame here. Uh, let's take some some pictures. Oh, Wolfie's looking right at the camera. There we go. Some pictures here. Let's also... Uh, let's let's go up quite a distance, shall we? Because this, this, this monument is best viewed from above. Just don't fall, no falling. There, oh, there we go. We can do a vertical panoramic. Panorama. Panorama-rama. All right, so we can go... Bing. Bong. Boom. Oh, I should actually get a little bit closer to the edge. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Boom. Beam. Oh, actually, I could probably... I'm doing this wrong. We'll get a nice wide-angle view. I don't know how this is going to stitch together. I should probably do it a different way. We'll have a, a little bit of a a photosphere of the Season 5 monument. There we go. That'll do. I think that'll do. Look at all these pictures I've taken. Indeed. As, uh, you'll also notice, you'll notice in the little screenshot thing, that while, while right now, as you're watching this, it is Saturday, August 8th, 2015, I'm recording this on a Friday. A day beforehand. That's because we are adjusting. We are adjusting the Far Lands or Bust schedule from last season. It was Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're switching things up a bit. Yoink. To... What are we switching up to? Wolfie! Do I have Wolfie, Wolfie Treats? I do have Wolfie Treats. We're switching it up to Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. That way I can record a day early and then publish at a reasonable time the next day, because we were having a bit of a problem uh, last season, specifically after I moved to a new time zone. Uh, the episodes were coming out really late, because I would record and render and publish and upload all on the same day, and that just simply didn't work out too well. So we're trying something new. Just keep that in mind, trying something new. But yeah, take one last, one last look at this magnificently unique monument. We made a little spiral down. I'm, I'm very happy with how that turned out. I know you are too, Wolfie. And, and also uh, a spiral up. A, a, a laser beam. A laser beam of hope. Um, <laughs> maybe we should admire it for a few minutes longer. Sleep one last time in the bed and then continue on. I think that sounds like a, a good idea. Am I right, Wolfie? Or am I right? Right, right, right. Uh, so I think I think we'll do that because <laughs> if we start walking, we're gonna make about like 20 feet, and then <laughs> and then we'll uh, we'll have to make an elevated hidey hole. Ooh, speaking of elevated hidey holes, I should probably make a couple beds too. But yeah, I'm I'm very excited, uh, very excited. I've uh, been preparing all week, uh, a lot, pretty much the the majority of the day. I've done nothing but prepare, update the website, uh, do a bunch of other things, which I'll get into in a moment. Uh, do things with the the child's play charity situation for the new season. Uh, and and I got to the point where I'm like, I could keep preparing and preparing and preparing and write a bunch of notes, but really what I gotta do, right Wolfie? Really what I gotta do is is just start recording. Just start recording, get back into it. I think it's been the longest, the longest break we've taken between seasons of Far Lands or Bust. Uh, in the past it's been about a couple weeks or, or a month or so, but uh, this was two months. Uh, we were starting to get some questions. When's, when's Far Lands or Bust coming back? When's Far Lands or Bust coming back? I tell you, it is back with a vengeance. We have many, many uh, crimes to find vengeance for. No, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I'm 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 extremely excited. Feel a little bit out of practice to be honest, uh, but very excited to get started again. Uh, that way, of course, is east. That is where our spawn is, and this way is west, where we are going. What another screenshot for you? Boop. A very happy sheep we have gallivanting around on the interior there. I suppose while we're here I'll give you some statistics. Uh, as you know, that block right there with the lava tube in it is the block that's 22666779 from spawn. The world size, as we're beginning here, in Season 6, that's gonna take a while to get used to, in Season 6 of Far Lands of Bust, the world size is 17,886.8 megabytes. 
So over 17 and a half gigs. Where is this? Uh, wait, where's the door? I'm trying to find the door. There's the door. I left Wolfie up there just because it's it'd be too hard to bring him down here and he spawns and might glitch into something. Uh, but yeah, we're starting at uh, 17.88 gigs of space for the world save. Uh, so that's that's a big number. And last season, for Child's Play Charity, we raised $66,315.57. Had a few more donations very generously come in even during the hiatus in June and July, which I've, I've recorded down the questions, so I'll be getting to answering those questions uh, eventually. Perhaps not this episode. We've got a lot to discuss this episode and uh, a lot to catch up on and start to introduce for Season 6. Um, so yeah, we raised sixty six thousand three hundred and fifteen dollars of the fifty thousand dollar goal for season five, and appropriately, season six, the goal will be if you check farlandsorbust.com, sixty thousand dollars for season six of Farlands or Bust. Let's continue talking about that and other new additions to the series in the morning. <laughs> And awakeness. I don't know how I slept because there's so much lights. <laughs> so many lights. I, I, I need some one of those little uh, sleepy masks or whatever so that I can actually see what I'm doing. All right, do I have... I think I have everything. I have everything I need. Yeah, okay. I'm a little bit paranoid about that. Don't need any bones, but uh, I, I have everything I need. Got it? Good. Let's go. Let us go out west to the far lands. Chicka chicka doo. One last little look. Ooh, that's, that's, that's a neat picture. Hold on. Picture time! That's the... what's burning? Oh, underneath is burning. I totally forgot about that. That's a neat little feature. Good job, Kurt. You are an amazing Minecraft builder. I know. Thanks. Um, so yeah. Alright. Where did I leave Wolfie? Over here. Are we ready? Are we ready for it? Let's, let's, let's just do it one more time. That's the, that's the, this is the line. A little bit off, but, uh, I'm gonna press F3 to remind everybody. 2266779 is the number, the F3 number. I am not going to press it again until we raise that $60,000 for Season 6 of Far Lands or Busts. Uh, you'll also notice the X. We were at, at like 60-something thousand uh, in the positive, or the negative. Was I in the positive or the negative? I think I was in the negative for the X. So we really went past the zero point. Which way would I have to go to, to get back to zero? Uh, this way. So if I continue kind of listing right, north, then maybe we'll we'll zero ourselves out. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. So so one last look at the F3 of Minecraft Beta 1.7.3. Got it? Get it? Good. Because that's the last you're going to see it. Unless you go to farlinesofbus.com and donate to Child's Play Charity. Of course, we've been, uh, we've been uh, supporting Child's Play Charity. For over four years, since June of 2011, and we have raised over $335,000. Farlanders such as yourself have raised that for Child's Play Charity, helping get toys, books, games to kids in hospitals around the world. That is what Child's Play Charity does. Learn more at childsplaycharity.org. Hey, I didn't forget that spiel. I didn't forget that spiel at all. Uh, and we do have a creeper on the horizon. Ooh. There's a... oh, the trees are kind of in the way. I wonder if I can get a good angle on this this monument here. I'm like a like a tourist or something. Go go back to go back to where you came from. Bring your tourism money elsewhere. All right, this is this will be a good picture. Yeah. All right, let's actually get up on this tree. Yeah. All right. One one last little uh, snapshot, shall we? Oh, hi, Wolfie. Careful there. It's it's quite the fall if you fall. A little bit of a panoramic. Ooh, what's going on over there? Are those trees? What is that? On the left border? I think those are trees. Yeah, yeah. And one more picture for, for good measure. Woof! Woof indeed, Wolfie. Woof indeed. And continuing west to the Farlands. Uh, so yeah, I mentioned the $60,000 goal for Child's Play Charity at farlandsorbus.com. The, the widget has been uh, reset, renewed and updated so you can go there click donate and all that money goes directly to child's play charity adding to the uh the amount there towards our goal and that would be uh, much appreciated as we continue to do that let's get wolfie some wolfie snacks shall we 
Uh, it's usually good to carry about four at a time. I, I, I say this, uh, I, I doth declare this. These are actually raw pork chops that have been reskinned in the Far Lands or Bust texture pack to look like doggy bones. Uh, it actually looks like Wolfie is a little bit, a little bit down on his tail as it is. There we go, much better. Continuing on, uh, I do also want to introduce. You probably saw. I'm saying this before I actually do this, but you probably saw a new logo, a new uh, kind of logo for this season. Last season we had the, the uh, Axel Rosie. Uh, she made the art for the Careful Wolfie T-shirt that I integrated into the new logo. The little two circles with with my face and then Wolfie. Uh, a, a play on the the uh, OU meme that I'm sure you've seen on the internets. We got a new piece of artwork for season six by our good friend Tara Forest. Tara, 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 Tara. It's Tara, right? It's Tara. That's what we determined. Uh, she was in a live stream. She's one of my mods on Twitch, and uh, I, I asked, and I think it's Tara, Tara, Tara Forest, or is it Tara? Tara. Tara for us, everybody! <laughs> oh, man. Maybe I should have asked before I started recording. Oh, I'm terrible. I'm tarable. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, made some awesome artwork and a little bit of a, a new uh, logo looking thing there on to start off every episode of Far Lands or Bust. That's, that's pretty awesome, so uh, do, do appreciate that. And so we're going to use that continuing on. A little bit of a, a switch up. Ooh, I also... Hmm, this is a good thing I'm recording these a day early. I still have to make a new... Uh, I could use the same one, but I, I still have to make a new uh, end slate. You know, after the after the credits roll and it says to be continued, we have the, the end slate saying subscribe and donate to Child's Play Charity, etc, etc. Gotta make a new one of those. Perhaps probably featuring the new art uh, for that, so that, that'll be cool. Uh, and, uh, what else are we doing? We are also, uh, announcement! Got a big announcement going on right here. Everybody, everybody ready? You got your ears open? You better got your ears open, because I am very happy to announce that starting this season and with this episode... Ooh, neat little bridge there. With this episode, I will be releasing Far Lands or Bust as... A downloadable audio-only podcast edition. This has been much requested, uh, and especially as of late, because the jitteriness in the world, the jitteriness in the world, uh, as you can see, the the selection block is now two texture pixels off, as opposed to one. Uh, that means the jitteriness in the world is is increased double. Uh, that was recently, as that was in, that happened in April. We noticed that happen, and that's a little bit unbearable for some people. I understand that, and uh, people are a little bit turned off of the the video version of the series. It's always going to be on video, obviously, but uh, the video edition of the series on YouTube uh, might be a little bit much for some. Otherwise, some people maybe just like listening to this as a podcast. It's sort of become that. It's less about the game play, or the game itself. Yes, we're walking to the Far Lands, but it's it's a little bit of a, a repetitive task. Careful, Wolfie, except for when stuff like that happens. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a, a repetitive task. Uh, I'm still enjoying it. I'm, I'm, I've got no problem with it. I'm the one here playing full screen. The, the jitteriness is, is how I play Minecraft now. Uh, but it's been often requested that a podcast, just an audio version, be released. So I am setting forth to do that this season. Now, I'm not 100% sure. Again, recording this a day early, I might have time, uh, but I, I have set up a service uh, to do such things. Uh, I will provide a link to that service and perhaps just a direct link to the feed. It should also be cross-posted on the old iTunes, uh, if that's a, a place where you get your podcasts. Uh, so I'll perhaps try to find whenever that link goes up. I'm not 100% sure how this all transpires, so we might be running a few days late here at the beginning, but I'm hoping eventually to be able to publish the episode, the podcast edition episode, uh, by about the same time that the YouTube uh, video gets published, maybe a day later. Perhaps it'll be like the next morning or something like that, that the audio podcast edition will be published. Uh, but there's some technical stuff to go through with that, but that is uh, that is happening. That's happening. 
And it's all happening commercial free, thanks to uh, our friends, Farlanders, over at Patreon. Patrons of my Patreon, which uh, additionally, all of the episodes, past, present, and future, of Far Lands of Bust are going to be commercial free as well. I'm talking about the the commercials, the pre-rolls, the mid-rolls, the post-rolls. Uh, no rolls. The only the only rolls I want are the kind that you butter and and you eat with spaghetti. Gluten free, of course. Gluten free rolls only for Kurt J Mac. Uh, you can have normal wheat rolls all all, all day every day if you want, but. Uh, we are going to go ahead with that podcast edition. So uh, I hope that's that's something that is well received. I'll certainly be keeping an eye on the on the statistics. I suppose if like two people <laughs> are using it at most, then, then maybe we'll have to reconsider that as time goes on. But uh, uh, but right now I'm very happy uh, to announce that, and I'll I'll certainly let you know definitively uh, when this episode goes up on my Twitter, twitter.com/kurtjmac. Uh, on, on Patreon, if you are a patron, uh, I'll give you an update as when that's up. I'm hope you know, I'm not sure. Being as this episode right here will be the first podcast, quote unquote, uh, I'll be uploading. I'm, I'm still getting used to the whole system and everything, so ho- hopefully everything works out there. Uh, but that is indeed yet another special announcement, and that was the that was the uh, the special new feature that I kind of teased during a live stream earlier in the week. I've been doing live streams every week on the Mindcrack server, calling it Mindcrack Monday, where I live stream for like two or three hours, getting work done on the Minecraft server, which is now going to be running on the new Minecraft snapshot. So so if you want to see Kurt J. Mac play a slightly more recent version of Minecraft and, and not Minecraft Beta 173, then uh, those live streams are certainly the place to do that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Didn't I tell myself I, was, I need to make some some beds? Uh, before I left, <laughs> D- didn't make those beds. <laughs> I totally forgot. I'm just so excited and and uh, at a loss for for any sort of organization. So let's make let's make these these two beds. Uh, well, actually, I really only needed one bed to be honest, because we go we go for three days here in Far Lands of Us, three Minecraft days. Uh, but I guess we'll have one extra. Yoink! Don't mind if I do. First hidey hole of season six of Far Lands of Bust. Elevated hidey hole, that is. Let's uh, take a little nap, and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> and awakeness. And season sixness of Far Lands of Bustness. In doodly 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 All right there, Ned Flanders. Take it easy. So much has happened in the two months we've been gone. First and foremost, uh, as you know, you know, speaking of it being a little bit like a podcast, we do talk quite a bit about space, space flight, astronomy, space news, and whatnot. And a huge event, huge event happened in the space world. New Horizons, the New Horizons spacecraft finally reached and did its flyby of Pluto. Pluto, the dwarf planet, previously known as the ninth ninth planet, excuse me. Pluto, for the first time, has been pictured and and mapped and studied up close by the New Horizons spacecraft. New Horizons was launched in... When was New Horizons launched? 2001? Or was it like 1997? Some crazy long amount of time ago. That's how far away Pluto is. Uh, New Horizons was launched, and on July 14th, it flew within 12,500 kilometers above the surface. For reference, (laughs) that would be the distance to the Farlands. The Farlands are at 12,500 some odd blocks from spawn. Wow, that's kind of a crazy... That's a crazy... Isn't that a crazy thing? Wow, that is kind of crazy. Yeah, uh, it flew 12... 1,500 kilometers above the surface of Pluto's. Pluto? Pluto. So, so for reference, uh, say we're at spawn, <laughs> uh, and, and we're at the Far Lands. There, somebody's at spawn, somebody's at the Far Lands. That's how far away New Horizons was from the surface of Pluto when it took these amazing pictures. These amazing pictures! I, I, I am the last one! These amazing pictures really highly detailed, obviously great equipment and cameras and everything gone into that. Uh, of course, 
cameras and equipment and digital equipment that that is was great uh, in the early 2000s standards because that's that's when the spacecraft was built uh, but uh, that's kind of crazy to think about that, that I literally that just popped into my head woo how about that man that is that is nuts that's a long distance <laughs> but uh, anyway yeah within uh, 12,500 kilometers of Pluto's surface and got a whole bunch of interesting pictures uh, it was a little bit anticlimactic, and I was interacting with people on Twitter on actual July 14th. Everybody was excited. Oh, yeah, the Pluto flyby. But we didn't get any pictures that day because during the flyby, the, the spacecraft was instructed not to transmit any data, just to collect data. It wanted to use all of its power and, and computing processing power for collecting images and data. Uh, it didn't want to waste any of that battery power and computing power on sending information so it was basically okay pluto flew by or i'm sorry uh, new horizons flew by flew by uh pluto um we might get some pictures tomorrow <laughs> so there was a little bit of a delay a little bit of uh perhaps a letdown on the part of perhaps if you didn't know that was going to be the case uh but certainly the the, the images started to to flow in at a at a wonderful rate of one to two kilobits per second kilobits uh, that by comparison to your dial-up modem, which is 56k, only one or two k, because at that distance uh, it takes uh, not only a lot of power, <laughs> but also a lot of time to transmit data. So we're actually we don't even have all the pictures back yet. It's it's been more than a month or almost a month later. Uh, it's going to take how long is it going to take? Up to 16 months actually to get the downlink for all of the, the the photos and data from New Horizons. So that that gives you a little bit of a clue as to the the delayed uh, gratification that comes along with deep space exploration. But it's it's pretty cool stuff what we've got already. Of course the the up close images showed us this very interesting what people have dubbed and found to look like a heart shape, this heart shaped feature on kind of the southern hemisphere of the planet that is kind of it's there's there've been some su surprises these really strange mountains ice mountains that really don't make sense why they're so so large and where they're at there must be some sort of because they're not related to, to crater or, or asteroid activity it's, it's they must be there might be tectonics going on or something there's still there's going to be a lot of for for decades to come a lot of hypotheses and, and studies of this uh, also, the surface, much of the surface is very young, like, uh, you know, 100 million some odd years young because it's missing a lot of the uh, uh, the asteroid impacts, the craters that you would normally see on uh, old surfaces like our, our, our moon or whatnot. Uh, and that suggests that there might be, again, is there tectonics? Are there perhaps, is there a, a freeze-thaw? Um, uh, alternating freeze thaw system going on, on on the surface that 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 uh, thaws the the ice and then it you know erases the history and then freezes again perhaps that has happened in the last couple hundred million years or something uh, so that that was a surprise that's a surprise also very interesting was how uh, when it flew by when New Horizons flew by it turned around and took a picture as it was leaving when the sun was behind essentially eclipsed by Pluto and it illuminated the ring a very very thin but a very noticeable atmosphere they knew there was an atmosphere but there's this haze that uh, was kind of predicted that was very exciting to see a haze uh, there's all these different organic uh, you know molecules and uh, maybe not molecules but uh, you know just various different amounts of uh, uh, either it be water or hydrogen, oxygen or, or methane or, or, or whatever in the atmosphere. I'm not sure what specifically. You'll have to you'll have to look that up on, on Wikipedia or the NASA website to find out what specifically has been found uh, in the atmosphere and on the surface. Very interesting stuff. Very hazy. Uh, very cool picture out of that. Uh, you know, reminds you that there have been similar pictures taken of Titan, the moon of Saturn, that has a, an atmosphere and uh, where the ring you can see just the ring of the very diffuse thin atmosphere it's very cool uh this it's also studied uh sharon the the moon the kind of companion of pluto but also uh pluto has other moons called nix hydra kerberos ironically enough not named after kerbal space program but kerberos and Styx. it also kind of studied in, in the highest detail that has been thus far 
And, uh, of course, there's all, there was also a little bit of confusion. Some people kind of tweeted me on Twitter, just generally where tweeting takes place. Uh, oh, are you excited for the landing uh, of New Horizons on Pluto or the, uh, the rover? Or, you know, maybe they thought it was going to go into orbit. No, the, the New Horizons is just flying by. Uh, it's just, it's not entering orbit around Pluto, it's it's past Pluto, and it's it's taken its last pictures. Uh, it is long gone, and it is just going to continue on. Uh, in the years to come, they are going to try to identify outer uh, Kuiper Belt objects. Uh, none as, as large as Pluto are, are in the sights, but there are other objects out there, uh, other dwarf planets, uh, other uh, icy kind of moon-like, uh, you know, asteroids that they're going to try to use uh, what power New Horizons has to, to study. So that could happen uh, as early as, I think, one of the possible targets could happen as early as 2019. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 done with Pluto. Uh, and the main reason behind that is simply speed. Uh, to have gotten into an orbit, if you can think of Kerbal Space Program, to then be entered into orbit around Pluto or land on it, you would have to come in really shallow and kind of match... Pluto's orbit, and that would have taken decades upon decades, and the people who launched the spacecraft would probably no longer be alive by the time it got to Pluto. So the the best and most direct path was to just simply just shoot as fast as possible uh, outwards, and that just meant you're going to overshoot Pluto, but you get close enough, you can get all the data you, you kind of can with, with that kind of trajectory. Uh, so that, that's all very interesting stuff. Big, big news. The, the uh, pretty much the the other uh, big item on the the planetary studies, planetary sciences list has now been been studied and will continue to be studied as the data comes back over the next, what I say, 16 months. That's very cool stuff. Very cool stuff indeed. And of course it is. It kind of reinvigorated the, the dwarf planet versus planet. Uh, it's not really a debate. It's been decided. Science has decided it's a dwarf planet uh, simply because there are about... 60 or so other comparable objects out there in the Kuiper Belt. There's things even closer, like Ceres, uh, which is uh, between Mars and Jupiter in the in the asteroid belt. Uh, so, okay, would you rather have, you know, eight planets, which is what we have now, or would you rather have 70 planets to try to remember? So that, that's kind of the cutoff, and, and I, I definitely agree with that. But like I said, it doesn't matter if I agree or not. That's It's what the science has determined. So that that was very cool and very much something that I'm like, duh, I wish I was doing Far Lands of Bust. I could talk about this in detail. Oh, you know what? Since I have another bed, <laughs> and since I'm really still talking about a lot of stuff here, uh, let's, let's make this a four-day Welcome Back to Far Lands of Bust episode by making yet another elevated hidey hole, and then we will continue on for an additional day and call this an episode of Far Lands Bus, shall we? Oh, my little treat. It's my treat. Really. Please. Put away your wallet. It's my treat. Uh, so let's do that, and we will continue in the morning. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get used to the snoring again and awakeness. <laughs> I almost choked on the the oxygen or something. I'm not sure what I almost choked on there. Um, but uh, but yeah, I am. I'm very excited to get started with Far Lands of Bust. I missed it. It's a part of my. Uh, it's a part of me. It's a part of my identity. Uh, <laughs> if you could tell, watch it there, Wolfie. All right, let's be careful. Let's maybe not use the axe. It doesn't matter. In in Minecraft Beta 173, uh, the workbench takes as long to break with your fists as it does with an axe of any description or gold or diamond or whatever it could be, or or a compass or whatever. It was just kind of a, a bug in the way they programmed it. Uh, it. It didn't behave the way wood does. But anyway, continuing on. Um, yeah, speaking of uh, of news that we missed... Some great news, almost as great as as uh, exploring Pluto. Google has announced that it will be removing the Google Plus requirement for many of its services, starting starting with YouTube. Hooray! Confetti, excitement, little poppers and sparklers and all that other stuff. <laughs> Hooray indeed! We win! We win! As you know, 
I was a very loud and obnoxious and adamantly against the integration of Google Plus into Google. Uh, and uh, so much so that I've still, to this day, not created a Google Plus profile for for my Kurt J. Mac uh, account, uh, which a lot of people are very surprised. They thought, well, I thought you had to. I thought you had to upgrade the Google Plus if specifically you were a, a YouTuber, a creator, partner, uh, let alone as a user. Uh, I say no, you did not need to be. I kept, I keep, I continue to this day, I keep getting those prompts when I accidentally, like, click in the comment box or something. I simply can't comment as Kurt J. Mac. Uh, or do much else regarding comments or moderation even in that regard that much. And uh, I, I get little pop-ups and it says, oh, you need to upgrade your account to a Google Plus account. And uh, would you like to use uh, this name or that name? Uh, and then I just close the window. <laughs> That's how you avoid it. It doesn't give you an option of no, I don't want to do this. It just asks you, do you want to use this or this? And then if you basically opt out of that uh, decision, uh, you can basically stay your execution, I suppose. So I never uh, never merged with Google+, Plus, which is also why they, by default, when that all happened, they called my channel Far Lands or Bust, because that was the channel title. Back in the day, you had a channel title, uh, not in addition to your channel name. Uh, since my channel title was Far Lands or Bust, uh, that was better for search engine results. Obviously, if somebody searched Far Lands or Bust, I wanted them to find my channel. Uh, so that's why I named my channel Far Lands or Bust in title, whereas my name is still Kurt J. Mac. My URL is still Kurt J. Mac. Uh, they switch that, so now, whenever I do post something, oh, here's an Assetto Corsa vid by Farlands or Bust. What? You'll see that in your feed, and I always get that question. Why did you rename from Kurt J. Mac to Farlands or Bust? That doesn't make any sense. I didn't do it, and I don't have control over it. I try to change it, and then I get the little prompt that says, do you want to use this name or this name? And I say, close window. Uh, so, so yes, we have outlived the problem a uh, little bit. It's, it's actually going to be happening in a couple months. They say right now... If you do have Google+, Plus, don't try to disconnect your Google+, Plus from your YouTube, because that'll shut down your YouTube uh, account, which makes all the sense in the world. A+, plus YouTube, and Google, good, good job on, on making that the thing that happens. Uh, so don't be doing that. In the next couple of months, they will be removing that requirement, and then if you have a Google+, Plus that's attached to your YouTube, you, you will have the eventual option... That boat just up and vanished. Oh, there it is. All right. uh, that that just transported to another dimension. Another dimension, another dimension, another dimension, another dimension. Sorry. Um, <laughs> can you tell I'm excited for Far Lands of Bust being back? <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, you're going to get the option to disconnect them, and it will, you know, if you want to create a new YouTube channel, you won't be also required to make a Google Plus. Uh, that is the one. That that's the one rub I have is that I started my vlog channel, Kurt Indeed. Plug plug. There's only three videos on there. Never mind. Uh, the Kurt Indeed channel. I did have to start a Kurt Indeed Google Plus, which I'm hoping I can disconnect when this happens. Uh, although I'm not sure how that's going to happen because I never actually connected it. It was just there was no option. You if you wanted to create a YouTube channel, you had to create a Google Plus. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to disconnect those. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm hoping also when that happens, then I will regain control of my YouTube channel and be able to both comment on YouTube as Kurt J. Mac and also maybe rename rename my channel something a little bit more apropos, above and beyond simply Far Lands of Bust. Obviously, I'm playing a whole bunch of other games on, on this channel and whatnot, and I'm known for being on Minecraft and the Kerbal Space Program and, and the racing games and the crazy weird... Uh, indie one-off games like the flying around as a bird person games and stuff like that. Uh, so that that'll be something I'm looking forward to. Although I'm mildly skeptical, I'm I'm a little bit frightened that because I I worked against the wishes of Google and I never did set up a Google Plus, that when they go back and say, okay, everybody, now you can disconnect your Google Pluses if you so choose, the people, the few, the very few people. Who held out like myself are going to be stuck in this weird limbo where we neither exist nor not exist because uh, you know the system is going to be saying okay disconnect to google plus from kurt j max channel uh you know google plus not found error error delete all videos uh <laughs> you know so I'm, I'm a little bit worried there's a little bit of worried 
weariness there uh, sprinkled in with the joy. But Google Plus uh, is going to be uh, removed from YouTube. You still can use Google Plus and continue to use Google Plus with YouTube, but it's no longer a requirement. Uh, but uh, I don't know why you would. <laughs> uh, that that this was kind of uh, it was over a year ago. I think I mentioned something in Far Lines of Bus where the head of Google Plus resigned or moved on uh, from Google, and that kind of was the beginnings of the rumors of the fall of Google Plus as something that they're pushing on us. Of course, I always and adamantly uh, prescribed to the idea that you know Google wanted to get in on the. The Facebook hype and, and the Facebook money, obviously, with a social media network, social network platform. And I was always very much confused and scratched my head that Google didn't realize they already had a social media platform system. It was called YouTube. People had their accounts. People could comment and interact. People, uh, you know, send private messages. Uh, it was all just connected around video which is an interesting thing like twitter is all kind of connected uh, and started around the the, the format of text messaging and, and mobile platforms uh, facebook started around the platform of college uh, schools uh, and stuff like that it has since left that far behind obviously but uh, uh, so so you know they had youtube which was their social media website it was just based around videos and it was huge it was huge, it was growing, it was a happy, happy little place to be. Uh, and then they, they done, they, they completely, apparently, that just flew over their head. And instead, they're like, no, no, Google+, Plus, Google+, Plus, Google+. Plus. And they, they sprayed it in all of our eyes and started to cry and get all red and sniffly. And I'm making the analogy that it was like pepper spray. They sprayed us with pepper spray, and now they're finally giving us to m the milk to wash it out. Hey! <laughs> How about that analogy? Whoa, that was out in left field. I have been gone for a long time. Oh, man. Cool beans. Cool beans indeed. But yeah, the, the sun is going to start to set here on the, the first episode, episode 491 of the series, but the first episode of season six of Far Lands of Us. Uh, if you're new to the series, maybe, I, I suppose, the, the season premieres are, are kind of possibly maybe might be where a lot of people pick up a series or not. Uh, welcome, you are now a Farlander. Uh, you cannot go back on that. And uh, uh, this is this is the series. Maybe next episode I'll do a little bit of recappiness stuff. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more in depth about the jitteriness, about where we've come and where we're going and uh, how long it's gonna take to get there. Um, I just yesterday got done watching uh, the finale of The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, uh, and of course even earlier there was the, the finale of uh, David Letterman on the, the Late Show. Wait, was that it? The Late Show. Yeah, that's it. That's what it's called. And, uh, you know, that stuff scored a little finales on things, and I'm kind of, you know, people always wonder, how long are you going to do this, Kurt? I'm certainly I'm not saying I'm going to be around for 16 years like Jon Stewart or whatever, like uh, David Letterman, but that that seems kind of cool, doesn't it? That's, you know, this is kind of a show. This is my show. It's a one-man show. I put this all together myself. Uh, don't necessarily have a team behind me, but I, I could see... I could see something, you know, going ons and ons for for many years. I'm, I'm only just getting started. We're only 18% of the way there. It's a it's a marked, uh, a measurable distance to the Far Lands. How close we are to Pluto! <laughs> I mean, we're 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 closer to the Far Lands than New Horizons was to Pluto. Think about that. Chew on those apples, will ya? So I gotta keep this going, and uh, you know, maybe it'll take. Uh, I'll continue on for another decade or, or or two, depending on what the latest calculations show. But uh, I am, I'm looking forward to it. Certainly, season six. We're not even we're not even uh, halfway done with this series. So so get used to these these season openers. I am trying to find a safe place to, to build a, a hidey hole, but I am not. There we go. Uh, this is not really safe at all, honestly, but uh, we're going to try it out. Hello. Hi. Uh, Wolfie? Well, uh, all right. Just go out there. That's fine. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. That, yep, yep, yep. No, oh, all right. You're making things very difficult on me there, guy. Hey, over here. Yep, yep, yep. Sit. Sit down. I don't it. <laughs> All right. He's he's screwing with me. Yeah, are you here now? Oh dang you. 
Oh, there you are. No, no, I want you to, excuse me, just kind of push out a little bit. There we go. All right, so we're going to make the underground hidey hole here. Uh, what do I need? I need more dirt. Yep. It was good seeing you, Wolfie. We'll definitely be seeing you again. Let's uh, make this the full size. We we do these uh, three by three is the size we make these hidey holes. We'll get some free coal here while we're at it. Well, maybe not free, but uh, finders keepers. Uh, some easy to get coal as we build this. And I will once again remind everybody to keep going to farlandsorbust.com. That will always be your hub for Farlands or Bust. And right there on the homepage is the uh, donation tracker for Child's Play Charity. Continuing to support Child's Play Charity this season. Trying to raise $60,000 60, for season six of Farlands or Bust. All that money going directly to childsplaycharity.org. Helping get toys, books, games to kids in hospitals around the world. A great cause indeed, of course, as always. Uh, you know what, let's do that. I also need a new shovel. You do not make those with bones, that's for sure. Let's make a shovel and one more little piece of torch here. There we go. Is there anything I've forgotten, anybody? Anything I've forgotten? Oh, and of course, yeah, when you do donate, there's a little uh, comment box that you can leave a comment, leave a question. Uh, and I will get to those questions in a future episode of Far Lands of Bust. Got some left over from the last episode to get to. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you and your continued support for, for both the charity and, and my the series, myself. Uh, we did it! We survived Google+, Plus. you and I. <laughs> so hopefully we will su survive another 10 million blocks to the Far Lands. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kurt. I will see you next time. <laughs>